Hey guys, what's up? So I'm back with another video with .NET MAUI and in this video we are going to build YouTube UI using .NET MAUI So I have this emulator open and this is YouTube app So we are going to build this using .NET MAUI So without wasting any time, let's get started. So I have this project. I have simply created one project with this YouTube UI Maui name and I have not done anything with this. So first thing we are going to do, we are going to go to app shell and we are going to clean this up. Let's go to main page and let's clean this up as well in main page.saml.cs we don't have all these now so remove these and remove this also so we are doing kind of cleanup and for this youtube app for all these icons this explore icon youtube logo these icons and these bottom tab icons so I have downloaded these icons I already have these icons I downloaded these from Font Awesome so what you can do you can go to Font Awesome go to icons then you can search here so for example for this notification bell icon we can simply search for bell it will give us a list so we are going to filter these out by free so we have all these options so click on this now we have all these options so we can download it in C SVG format so we are going to use SVG format only so this is the way I have downloaded all these icons then I have renamed these so notification bell, library, home, explorer, shorts so one thing I already mentioned in my one of la, uh, past video that when we work with .NET MAUI so the name for these files these should be in lowercase without any special character the only special character that is allowed is underscore so you have this vertical underscore menu and all these are in lowercase so it supports only lowercase so I'm telling this because when you download the icon so maybe let's take example of this one so it downloads using these hyphens bells hyphen slash hyphen solid so we cannot use directly uh, this name directly so we need to modify this so remove this uh, hyphen replace it with underscore if you want so I have all these now next thing I am going to copy these icons into the resource folder images I have all these images now so we are going to start from app shell first thing we are going to design these tab bar this bottom tab bar so we have these four options so we are going to set tab bar and the first item it would be shell content and the first item first thing we need to give it title title is home second thing we can give it icon and icon we are going to use the icon we just copied so we can find these here so home.svg home.svg then content template this will be data template and it would be local our main page basically main page from this local namespace so main page we have four uh, tabs so we can copy this four times 
फर्स्ट इज होम सेकेंड इज शॉर्ट्स एंड द थर्ड इज सब्सक्रिप्शन एंड देन द फोर्थ वन इज लाइब्रेरी I'm going to change these icons as well. Shorts, subscriptions, and then library. So let's run it. So it's loaded. So I could not find uh, the proper icons for short subscriptions and library. So I found these very similar to the YouTube icons. So I'm using these icons here. So we have all these. Bottom tabs. Now the next thing. next thing what we are going to do so if you look at this uh, main title bar for this this is kind of a custom title bar this is not the apps title bar what we have uh, we have this home title bar which is fixed here so this is not this so this is a custom title bar so we are going to use this approach only we are going to have a custom title bar we are going to uh, hide that default title bar then we are going to design this so let's go back from entire app we can set shell dot nav bar is visible to false and if we want to hide this on particular page we can simply set this property to the content page only so it will be visible for all other pages but it will be hidden only for the page which we have set this property with right okay so you cannot see this because whenever there is any change in C sharp or in the main content uh, this is the content we can say the child content and this is the main uh, main page content or shell content if we are doing any change into this then it does not uh, picks up these changes we need to restart it let's restart it Yep, it's here and that is removed from here. Now we are going to main page. We are going to work on this page only, this home page. First thing, it has this header. So let's go and set this header. So this is kind of a, uh, we can say this is and the complete app it got scroll that means the complete app it is in scroll view so we'll start from scroll view then this first item this title bar or menu bar whatever we want to call it so this is an we can try a flex layout or maybe we can try grid layout or we can try horizontal layout so for this let me try grid layout so it will have one row with two columns so first column this logo and this name then the second column all these icons so great i'm going to set column definitions so first whatever width the content requires 
and the second one it would be uh, let's say star now the next thing we have the first box that first box it has this icon and this youtube name so let's add one uh, horizontal stack layout the first item would be an image with source so i have this image as youtube logo youtube underscore logo dot svg aspect fill height and width so height requested may be uh, i don't know maybe 40 we can try width requested maybe 60 then the second item is this youtube text so it would be in label with text in youtube with font size font attribute bold font size uh, let's say 40 and yeah let's try how it is looking so it would be column one so we are going to set it grade dot column zero the first column then second column is this one so again this is again a horizontal layout horizontal stack layout and this is grid dot column one horizontal options and so we want to move these icons at the right side so horizontal options it has start for starting center for centering and end to set the uh, the items of this horizontal stack layout at the very end now it has these three icons so these are these are actionable items so we can click on these and we can perform some some actions so we can say these are kind of image button so we are going to use image button control from dotnet maui for this so image button it needs a source the source is for image url image name so for first one i could not find a icon image for this screencast so i'm going to start from this only this notification bell so the name is notification bell dot svg then same height and width request so height we are going to follow the same height pattern so we were using height as 40 width maybe again uh, this could be 30 height and width then we don't need anything for now first item i'm going to copy this multiple times so first is notification bell then the second one is search so it has search.svg and the last one is this user user.svg let's see how it is looking let me move to the app so we have youtube we have all these we need to design this youtube text the youtube logo and these icons these two are set properly but this is not so maybe we need to set height to this grid height request let's say 80 
Is it doing something? No. And why is it doing anything? Great dot. Now maybe restart it. Yeah, we have this now. YouTube and all these icons. We will set it at the top. For now, just design it. So this image height 40. No, let's reduce it 30. And then the width maybe 50. Okay then this let me set the height request of this horizontal stack layout the 80 only no 80 is already there so what we are going to do we are going to go on this label and vertical options center yep YouTube, YouTube, bold, 40, and all these icons. Maybe we need a little gap between these two. So we can set left margin from here. Uh, the other option would be we can set spacing on this horizontal layout. So spacing will be 10. Yes. The same thing we are going to apply on this horizontal stack layout for these icons. Spacing 10. Yep. And now this grid, it is, uh, if you can see the last icon, it is colliding with this uh, right screen. And so we need to add some, bar, uh, some padding, margin or padding. Let's add padding for this grid so we are going to add some padding let's say 10 only yep looks nice so we are going there okay next thing is next thing is this one so this is basically uh, first thing if you can look it has border on top and on bottom so first we are going to have one bordered view then this is a scrollable horizontal layout first it is fixed with explore then all these are tags and then the last item again a button send feedback so now we are going to design this after grid Okay, so there is one problem the scroll view it can have only one child so we are going to modify our grid we will have this one grid which will have this header first item tags second item and then third item would be the complete uh, list complete videos shorts all these complete content of this page so there will be one grid with three columns no sorry three rows we can say row definitions first one for this uh, this menu bar title bar so it has a height of 80 so row definitions let's say star whatever auto whatever content it has second column for this tags auto whatever the content takes and the star the final thing whatever remaining grid 
now this grid is actually the first item of this parent grid so we need to set it that this is the first row so grid dot row 0 now the second row this one let me collapse it yeah. now the second row we can think of this is one border then border grid dot row one stroke it has stroke of color so stroke means color stroke color so it is kind of gray or light gray we will check light gray stroke shape rectangle and then stroke thickness one okay then the second thing it is going to have we are going to add some padding to it let's say 10 only then now let's add all these things so first this is a horizontal scroll view so we are going to add a scroll view here orientation will be horizontal for this now the first item this explore so this is a label this cannot be a label because it has two items so one is this icon then this text so we can have an horizontal stack layout here the first will be image with source this explore i have this explore.svg image explore.svg so now let me go here explore.svg aspect aspect fill height request we can follow the same or maybe for now just 20 width request maybe 30 check what is the issue row definition row 0 scroll view grid grid dot row yeah it should work let me restart it yes it is there okay so this image then the second item of this was the text label text explore spacing 5 yeah then the height request it is not fitting here yeah. 30 and width 30 this label can we make it small let's say 20 and 20 yes explore and it was having having a background so background color and it was also i think light gray only yes then let me add some padding maybe five 
yep this looks fine now the next thing we have this bar then we have all these tags so let's go to this bar so we can think of a maybe one border content or maybe one label I'm not sure let me try explore okay so we need this uh, this background only for these two so we might want to add this inside some the same horizontal scroll layout only horizontal stack layout first item then the second item second item would be that maybe let me add a border with this thing with text color uh, light gray and font size maybe 20 need to restart again we can increase the font if we want maybe uh, let's say make it 40 for now let's have it 20 only we can think of some solution how we can increase this but for now it looks fine after this we have all these tags so for these tags what I am going to do I am going to have one uh, enumerable collection with all these tabs all these tags and I am going to use that in a collection view so let's do this go to the back all these are strings only so maybe for now I am having this where only public class or maybe let's have it a struct only public struct tag and it will have or maybe just public records but tag and for now it will have only one item as name and here I'm going to have one collection observable collection of this type tag and we call tags and we are going to fill data into this so private static enumerable of tag we get tags new list of tag new tag the first one was all and then let me add couple of others live let me write this down so i have added these now let me fill this inside constructor tags equals new observable collection of tag and get tags now I'm going to use it inside a XAML after this label I'm going to have a collection view with item source of 
this binding this tags property so for using this tags property we need to do two things first binding context to this only it is showing this it is going to work but it is not able to figure out what binding context is for this page so we can leave it like this or if we want to have the support of IntelliScience and we want to get rid of these three dots no data context found for binding tags what we can do we can set the data type for this page so we can say x data type and the same namespace first thing we need to add this namespace so xmlns uh, maybe app and it would be this only now we can use app and then main page so now it will be able to get this it is currently not because this did not exist when we run our app so the changes are on c-sharp side so we need to rerun the app so let me rerun it yep it has here so now you can see we are able to get this and it is navigating to here also yep next thing we want to set this collection view so default behavior of collection we used to vertical we want to change this to horizontal so what we can do we can do item layout collection view the items layout linear item layout orientation horizontal we have this complete list next thing we want to change this tag name or currently it is simply showing the two string version of the tag so we need to design these tag items so we have item template for this item template it would be a data template of type app and the type is tag now what we can do if we check this so this is kind of a circular rounded rectangle so let me add border again and stroke color stroke is stroke color so this will be again light gray and the stroke shape first let me set stroke thickness one stroke thickness is the width of the border then the stroke shape is the type of border so we are going to have rounded rectangle and we can define the roundness rounded corners radius basically we have this then we are going to have a label with the tag name label text now for these items the binding context would be tag one by one so we already defined the data type tag so we can directly access property of this tag so if we bind this then we will have that name of the tag for now this is fine let's go to r okay so we have these now we need to design these further so this border first thing we need to set or maybe on 
meet label only we need to set padding uh, maybe 10 okay nice uh, or it is a bit more so let me set 10 and 8 still more maybe uh, 8 and 5 yeah looking nice and now we need to add some spacing so on this border only or maybe collection view do we have item spacing we don't have a collection do we have it on item template yes, no. okay so we can set on this only on border we are going to set margin and margin will be uh, let's say five from left zero from top and five from right and zero from bottom yep and let me add this margin to this also margin left so left would be five only did it increase yeah five zero 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 yeah it looks a bit more so maybe on right side we can change it to two or maybe zero only so it would be five only from left okay so we are good then the last item in this it was that button so we have this background color also let's set this background color then this button send feedback so on this border we have background color and we came light gray maybe we can set it to hex code and maybe e e e yep okay it looks nice so we can set background color of this explore container to this only let's call it e e e yeah then after this collection view we are going to have one button with text uh, my light is acting weird okay so button with text send feedback let's design it so it we are going to override the default behavior so border color transparent let's check what all other things we have background color transparent text color blue yeah. and then vertical options center so for this horizontal stack layout you can select vertical options center is it going to help let's check no or 
vertical text options we don't have this we have that on text only okay so maybe we're using padding so we can remove the padding yes padding zero and now we need to add a margin from left only so let's add a margin of five zero 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 yes so we have this same thing what we have here one thing if you look here uh, it has the container of these tags it has top and bottom border only not left and right border so how we can do this we can simply say for this border where is the border I'm sorry I could not find it this border so what we can do it has this padding of 10 maybe we can move this padding of 10 to scroll view it's still same and now what we are going to do we are simply going to add padding sorry margin of minus one from left and right can we add this Or can we add this directly on border margin minus one? Yes, I have minus two. Yep. Yeah, so what we did, we actually moved that border off screen. So we achieved this. So we are good with this also. Now the next part is the main content. So for the main content, we are again going to have one scroll view. Actually it is already on scroll view, right? Yes. So there could be multiple ways to have these. Maybe it will be a list list view with different uh, item selectors so what i'm going to do i'm going to use simply one video then this short section and then again one video so i'm going to use these three only let's go in scroll view in create it would be the last row Again, I'm going to have this. Uh, let's take it vertical stack layout with grid row two, the last row. And here, first thing, we are going to have this video container. Then we are going to have the shorts container. And again at the last we are going to have this videos continuous so these three things we are going to do and when we talk about video it has it is actually having video but what we are going to do we are going to use one image image based placeholder so first thing it will have an image after that image there will be one we can add this uh, Cosmos Lab viewers also watch this channel so maybe this uh, little kind of hint or we can remove this hint if we don't want it so maybe let's use this on first video we are going to use this hint and on the second video we are going to skip that okay so on this image we have this time duration of this video 
duration so it is this duration then the next thing is this hint after that the image of the channel or we can say the avatar of this channel the name of the video or let's say video title and lastly channel name view count post it on all these things we need maybe let me add snippet of this so that we can have it for reference and we can design this We are in our app and we have this section. Okay, we are here. Let's add this video. Maybe before that, let's Take one image, so maybe it's a I don't know. Let me download one image, I'll be back. Downloading this image, let's take small only. it go back to our folder and maybe animal.jpg let's copy this to our images folder okay fine now this image so it is if you look to it maybe we can think it has a maybe one vertical stack layout again or grid so there could be multiple ways to design these so i'm going to use vertical stack layout for this so again vertical stack layout it is already a vertical stack layout right oh no this vertical stack layout this is for the complete content and this first vertical layout this is for video so this vertical stack layout the first thing we are going to have so if you look this time the duration of this uh, video it overlaps it comes on top of this image so how we can achieve this we can achieve this using grid only so i'm going to have one grid here with two rows and let's take star and auto the first row it will have this image image source source of this image this is this uh, what we named it animal dot jpg animal dot jpg aspect ratio aspect fill 
and the width may be 400 and height again may be 400 only need to restart this let me restart It's up. Yes, we can see our image. And for this duration, let's add. So how we can overlap these things? We will have two rows, but we will define both of these content in single row only. So how it is going to be? So in first row, this is uh, this image is there. And the second row again overlapping with row one that means it is going to be over the first row again so what i meant i have this label and let's take some dummy text maybe 618 only And for now, for size, just for testing, maybe let's take it 20. And the image is like this, so maybe text color. Just for testing, let's check if it is coming along. Yes, you can see this. Now we need to move this uh, label to the right bottom. So, how we can achieve this? We will set horizontal options to the end then vertical options again to the end okay and we will give it some margin maybe five yes it's there then maybe one size we can decrease a bit 16 and let's this color let be red only because the image if we'll have it black maybe it is not going to be visible but it looks nice now so we are good with this then the second thing this hint so we achieve this image in duration let's remove this the next thing is the hint so hint is actually one label or we can say the name of the channel it is bolder and the text this text this is not bold right so we can have a horizontal stack layout and we can have these two labels so i'm going to use horizontal stack layout the first label it will say channel name so let me say my name only or by prince and it would be bold the font attributes bold it's only a by prince then the second label it will say viewers also watch this channel yep. spacing so we can add this spacing five so it looks like one sentence only yep and we are going to have some padding maybe five again yep and then there is this background so we can set this background on this horizontal stack layout only so again maybe e e e 3 to 5 and 6 so uh, one thing we are using this color quite a few times right so we can have this as uh, common color only maybe so we can set that color here also so 
maybe add one color and if we don't want to set it here if we need the setting only on that particular page we don't need the setting uh, to be accessible throughout the application what we can do we can simply copy one line we will go on this page and we have this resource dictionary here also content page dot resources then we can have this resource dictionary here also and we can set that color here so we are using this color so maybe we can say my light gray how we can use this we will simply go wherever we are using this so for example we will we are using it somewhere yep so we will come here we will say static resource and now we can access this my light gray so if we decide to change this color so we can simply change it at one place here only and it will be applied to all the instances of this variable basically so we were having this here also static resources and my light gray fine so we still have the same output cool so i think we should decrease the font of these so font size uh, maybe 12 11 font size 11 yep okay it's working then this third item if you look closely it has this channel image then it has all this content then at the very end it has this three dots this vertical menu so what control we can use we can use horizontal stack layout first item second item third item or we can use grid with first column second column third column or maybe we can use grid only with two rows and three columns so the the center row it will have the center column it will have both two rows in use and the first and third column we can simply row span to two so let's come here now third item it would be so we use this hint now we are here so we will have one grid with two rows so star and start or maybe auto and auto and with two columns so column definition sorry three columns column definitions star auto star and auto so auto means it will use the content width so first column content width whatever width this content requires then the third column these three dots vertical ellipses so it is the auto that means it is again going to take this page space what it needs only and the second one is star that means whatever remaining space is there you can use that complete space so that is the meaning of this auto star and auto great now the first row first column and we will span this to two rows so we can have some border here which will be column 1 sorry column 0 and row span 2 both of two rows and the first column and it will have that image so source maybe we can use this image only animal.jpg and height request 
maybe 30 and the width request again 30 so we have this image now for border we are going to use the stroke shape and it will be rounded rectangle with 30 radius so it is uh, it is the this circular container and we don't need this border or we need and we can set the aspect of this aspect fill yes we have this so border is not visible but if the border is, is visible then we can simply go here and we can set the stroke thickness to zero the border will be removed from here so we have this now after that let's go to the second column so in second column we have these two rows so we can again have one grid with two rows or we can have simply one vertical layout with first item as this uh, this name of the sorry video title and the second item again a horizontal uh, horizontal stack layout with these three items okay so we are going to have vertical stack layout first one is the label and for this label let's use the same text so scientist or maybe I have that power tools so I have this Alt Shift T Let's see what we got Bad. Window shift T. Hmm. Yes. So we got this object. the title of the video okay we have this title of the video then we are going to use some of the styling on this so maybe uh, I forgot the name of that. We can have the text transform. Maybe no, no, no text transform. There was one property. Let me check what all properties we have on label so that we can uh, break it to two lines. Clip. No. and break mode word wrap it should work hmm. okay so next thing on this vertical uh, stack layout we need to set we are working for the second column of first right oh the main parent we took it as okay we took it as our grid okay so we don't need this 
vertical stack layout at all we can have this and it would be create dot column one and create dot row zero yes so we have this now and we need to set some styling so font size maybe 13 font attributes bold yep and then we need some spacing from the left maybe let's call it padding uh, maybe margin only we don't need padding margin from left right 10 and 0 or maybe from left 10 from top 5 from right 0 from bottom 0 again okay and on this border we need to set a height because we can see this uh, this channel icon it is now trying to take the complete uh, height of the row so which got, which got increased because of this uh, video title so we need to set height on this so height will be 30 only yep it's fine now the third thing third one is this uh, this vertical ellipsis so i already downloaded this image this is this vertical menu dot svg so it is going to be a clickable item so i can use it as image button so image button first thing row zero and column last right so grid dot column it will be the last column that is two then source it will be what Vertical menu dot svg vertical menu dot svg right vertical menu dot svg yes when height requested maybe 30 only width requested maybe 10 yep so now we can again height not 30 maybe 50 yep width is 10 fine we need to move it to the top so we can say vertical options start and it's at the top and we need some margin from top so we can say from left we don't need anything from top we need maybe five from right we again maybe need five and from bottom we don't need anything fine so we have this and again yeah i think it's done right so we can decrease the height of this uh, image so let's come here height is 40 maybe let's take 250 yes and 618 now this thing is not looking nice so maybe let me add font weight here bold font attributes bold yep now next item we are going on the shorts section so in this vertical stack layout the next item is no sorry before that we need this the channel name views and uh, the posted date basically so grid first row all three columns are done 
now the second row so this is a horizontal stack layout and create row 1 and column also 1 so the second column here first thing we will add channel name label text maybe let me add my channel name only second item views 29k views so this is hypothetical for me because I'm not getting that much of views and then the third one we have this label text and five days ago all these three things next thing we need to set on size so maybe uh, 10 or 11 then we need to set maybe the padding if we set it 5 would it be more no 5 is fine so we need to set this on these three all these three items we can do this or the second approach we can have these as a common property here so in resource dictionary we can have one style and we will name it um, we will add a key here so maybe uh, stats and then we can set target type that on what controls this style should be applied to so we are going to use it on label and then we have this setter tag we will tell the property so we are setting two properties right basic font size and padding font size so property name would be font size and the value will be 11 and let me copy it the second property is padding and the value is 5 so now we can use these stats on label so if we'll come here and we will set style static resource you see we have these stats in our intelligence here it will be because we have added target type to label it will be available only for label if you want to add it here style static resource you see we don't have that intelligence because we explicitly said that it should be applied to label if we want it to available for all the controls we can simply remove the target type and it will be available for all control so if I will remove this from here and now if I will go there so maybe I need to add it I need to check if we, we can have a global styles maybe there should be a way I have not used it okay so maybe it's a task for you you can try it and let me know in the comments if it worked or not and what approach you had to take to make some style public so it can be applied to all the items all the controls okay so we can now change this remove this and add this common style yep so we have all these items so now this image we need to set this also so go to this border image we need to add it to vertical options to start to move it to the top okay now maybe we need to apply the same thing what we applied to this image button 
the margin basically so on border we can add this margin instead of right we will simply have it from top only yeah it looks similar yeah okay so i think we are done with this section now we have this short section so let's go to the next thing so we achieve this remove this we have this shorts container in this vertical stack layout so this was for video now we have this sort section so let's again so we can have this uh, as a vertical stack layout only with first item as this shorts and the second item as this collection view with all these images so horizontal sorry vertical stack layout again and the first item there would be this icon and then this short so maybe this is again a horizontal stack layout horizontal stack layout and the first item is image and we have the source for this image maybe we can use the shorts icon this only source and we have shorts.png shorts.svg we can add png also so how it works it actually converts the svg images to png i'm not sure if it is going to work on hot reload or we need to rebuild it for now let's check so height requested maybe the same 20 and width requested maybe uh, 20 only yep it's here and then we have this label with this text which says shorts we can design it so font attributes bold font size maybe uh, 18 shorts now 16 mm, no 15 yeah maybe and next thing we need to add some spacing let's say 10 only and we some lots of five now this vertical stack layout if we check in this or maybe uh, let me add some padding from the main parent container only do we have this here No, we don't have that on parent we have on this at item level only okay so on this vertical stack layout or maybe let me add it on horizontal stack layout only so we can add padding or margin both and if you look closely the padding this is kind of same the margin this is kind of same for the this collection view and for this so maybe we can add it on this vertical stack layout only so we will add our first thing spacing which will be applied to uh, these shorts and this collection so this vertical spacing so we can have this 10 only and then padding from left we need 10 and from top we need 5 from right we don't need anything and from bottom uh, maybe again 5 yep. let's see yep. now we have this shorts so 
Now the second item in this vertical stack layout is this collection view. So for this collection view, we have this image. We have this. Uh, let's check in the live thing only. We have image. We have uh, video thumbnail basically. So we are going to use image. Then we have video title. We have views, and we have this option. okay so for this so we have these three things video uh, means image title and views so what we can do we can go to our main page we can add another model we can call it short model or let's call it short only it has three things string image the second thing is string title and the third one is views so maybe we can have it in string let's have it in string only in real life uh, things maybe you can have it as uh, this serialized or maybe normalized form 4.9 million or 3 one six k or maybe you can have this number directly and you are going to have one converter which is going to convert it if it is greater than one million then it is going to use million and if it's less than one million then it is going to use this the k format and if that is less than k maybe the direct views maybe uh, 100 or 1k maybe if it is less than 1k maybe it will directly use that so 900 800 700 whatever views we have so we can have converters we can have simply some computed property here so maybe we will have this uh, int views and we can have one computed property so maybe display views and we can simply apply our logic and we can set this and after applying our logic let's say it comes to this views a maybe if you want to do this we can do this also it just happened Visual Studio broke. Let me stop it. Invalid token in class because interface members interview. It should be like this only. Okay. If it is not working, we can simply say class here. And then maybe we can use all these properties, and then we can use this. Maybe I'm missing something. So for now, we don't need this. I'm going to use it directly as display view count. So maybe just call it views only. Next thing, I need one data source for this so public static i enumerable and short model and the shorts maybe and i can follow the same approach new list short short model and we can add all these short and so maybe image So maybe uh, let me download a couple of images off screen and let me fill this data. I'll be back. I have downloaded uh, these five files, image files, image one, two, three, four, five. And I have added some dummy uh, video titles and some sample views. for this, yes. And the next thing, I'm going to have one collection for the shorts. 
शॉर्ट मॉडल शॉर्ट्स एंड द सेम थिंग आई एम गोइंग टू लोड दीज शॉर्ट्स फ्रॉम हेयर yep we are good now in order to use this we need, oh, i already stopped it fine so maybe rerun it okay we have this shorts now we are going to use collection view and save my item source and it will be from binding shorts collection view dot item template we want to make it horizontal so linear layout collection view dot item layout linear item layout and orientation would be horizontal then for this item template it would be a data template with data type of short model here yep. now what we need uh, Where is that image? Did I close that image? No, it was in. Yeah. Okay. So first thing we can see, this is in uh, a grid view. Why grid? Because it is having these overlay items. So I'm going to have this as grid view. grid now the first item i'm going to have image and the source i am going to take this source from this short model so on short model we have this image property so we are going to get it from here aspect is aspect fill height request maybe 250 only and the width request may be 150 yep we have this scalable items now do we have opacity on this yes we have opacity Maybe zero point eight. Yep. Yeah, we have this. Now, after this image, we need these three dots. So again, this is going to be one image view, image button, source, vertical menu, dot SVG. then horizontal options at end we need to set height and width also so height um uh, maybe 10 and width again 10 so this is this one 
horizontal options and and vertical options at the top so it will be start so we have this here maybe we need to add some margin uh, five only yes we have this on all items after that we have this uh, video title so let's add it it is going to be on label with text coming from binding and from binding we can get uh, the text i think was title okay. and the font attributes it is bold in the text color it is white in the font size uh, it's 15 we have this next thing we want to move it to the downside uh, the end so maybe vertical options at the end and next thing we need to uh, use the word wrap what was the property i keep on forgetting so it was on video title so let me go to video title line break mode line break mode word wrap are we getting this no we're not so this is because okay let me set the width so this width we can get it from image only so on image we have width 150 so we can use the same here yep we got it 150 and now we can add some padding to it maybe five from left okay five looks fine and let it be 14 only or maybe 13 okay that's nice if we check on youtube after this it has this views so after this label we again have another label in which we are going to set the views it is overlapping so what we can do we can simply wrap these inside a horizontal sorry vertical stack layout and we can have couple of properties out from there let's add first thing let's add spacing here uh, maybe five only and second is vertical options and yep it is set and and maybe this padding let me add it to this only and then this width yep we have this and now i can remove these things we don't need water app for this and we don't need this vertical layer uh, sorry vertical options and looks fine okay but if you will see uh, we have this 4.9 million views 316k views we have this view string here right but we don't have this here because in our model we simply have this views count so what we can do we can simply format this views we can have string format 
and what it is going to use it is going to use uh, this zero Oh, I again forgot about this. It will use this and space. Can I use this? Right. So maybe zero. And then views on. I forgot about this let me so what I can do for now I can simply go to that route which I mentioned earlier so I'm going to have one computed property here I'm going to change it to class and I'm going to have all these properties here public string string is already there public and then get set let me add constructor with all these yep and I'm going to have another property here public string views display maybe and I'm going to simply use this use property and then I'm going to call it not call it simply views now i'm going to use this property here so instead of this so this is again assignment for you guys so you can check how we can apply string format so we can use use display here let me run it again we are reaching to the end yep we have this next thing we want to add some spacing between these items so go back to this grid and we can add margin from left 0 from top 0 from right 10 from bottom 0 yep we have this spacing okay so i have this and i think we are done with this uh, short section now let's create one more video after this so this short container this is done then this next video and in this video we decided not to have that uh, this hint our prince viewers also watch this, this channel so I'm going to simply copy that out this was first row then the second bordered row then this vertical stack layout with two rows this image okay it was this this vertical stack layout right then we had this image image and shorts yes so we had this vertical stretch layout okay so I pasted it again and I have this so from this one I'm going to remove this this thing this hint yep 
and let me change this image for this one so we have these five images now so maybe let's use this one one two three third image image three so we are here we have this image so let's use image three and save for image this image we use this only so for this image we have this one yep and maybe let's change this also let's try so we kind of reach there We had this uh, one thing which I missed maybe uh, between these two items we have this uh, spacing with this light grey color only. So what we can do we can simply have one background color on the main scroll view or main grid. Let's add it on main grid. So we will have not not main grid this row only grid two grid dot row two so we will have background colors we can use light gray so now everything is in this color then for our cases we are going to set the background color so for example for this one for our items basically we can set it to white so we set it to this one for our vertical stack layout we will set the background color as white Next one for short section this grid short only right rounded rectangle no no my bad this one this vertical stack layout yep we have this then after this again we need to add some margin what was this vertical step layout so we can add spacing to this maybe 15 no maybe 10 only yep it has spacing then it has spacing again and we have this and we are going to set this white for the last so I know this one, this one, the last video again, this vertical, this vertical, this is the last video, right, yep. Okay, or maybe to make it more, uh, maybe long, I can simply replicate this, we copy and paste it again with some other image the image 5 image 5 we have this image 5 again then let me applicate it again or maybe image 1 Which one? Which one? And now I'm going to copy uh, the short section.
and maybe for this one we can use the reverse order or maybe random so I can simply copy this and then maybe random shorts I can use this random shorts and get shorts dot order by GUID dot news UID. so it will be random the second sort section copy this and now again let me copy one more video so maybe this time it was two and the second one image two okay now i think we are good now let's try it even Yep, so we have now complete app. So we have all these things. We have these tags. We have this image with time with this little hint. Title of the video, stats of the video. Then we have this short section. We can scroll around. Then we have another videos. One, two, three. Then again, short section and then the last video okay so i think we are done for now we almost achieved everything within this maybe let me uh, simply make it this title uh, this main menu bar smaller height request 80 if i make it 50 40 yep but it looks fine then height 20 width 20 size 20 only do we have height here 40 with padding and vertical option center white is cutting out okay so for these we have this height request we should be aligned with uh, this 20 and 20 only 20 20 20 and 20 and again 20 20 but youtube is again cutting out uh, where is it this here the text 15 yep looks fine so we have all these items we have this main navigation bar we have these tags We have this main navigation bar, we have all these items, we have these tags with last send feedback button, this video with this duration, this hint, then this stats, title and all these things. So yep, looking nice. Yep, let me know in the comments if you like this video and whatever you your concern or your suggestions for new videos please mention in the comments below and i have i am working on one facts b complete app build from scratch i am building that complete app so i have already uploaded two parts of this app so you can find those on my channel and i'm going to add those into the pinned comment so you can 
have these from there also so and please subscribe my channel don't forget to subscribe it so we are going to do other cool stuff also on this and now I have one assignment for you so in the YouTube video we see this icon this is red so your assignment is can we make this red as this is SVG so can we have some styling by which we can make this button as red okay so please like this video if you like this and please don't forget to share subscribe so I don't know how to ask for these things because I'm just starting my YouTube journey so yep let's connect in another video I'll be back soon with another video yep thank you for supporting me